Hey, I just thought I'd share the trail welding kit that I built last summer using Harbor Freight jumper cables. Um, I thought that that would be the cheapest way to get some heavy gauge, as you can see, two gauge. It's a pretty decent size wire for uh, welding on the trail. Came with this kind of decent case. I don't know if it's gonna hold up, but um, I think the cables were $40. Obviously, you'll need to grab some rod. I grab gloves. Um, this welding hood is kind of neat. Someone on irate 4x4 posted this. It's on Amazon. It looks like uh, Bender from Futurama and Minions had a weird baby or, or something. But um, anyways, it's auto shade and it rolls up really nice and tight keeps you from getting burnt, keeps you from going blind, you know, when instead of using a stack sunglasses and a towel or whatever that we've probably all done. Um, and so what I did is I cut the jumper cable alligator clamps off. I crimped brass eyelets on. This was the clamp off my MIG welder. It's a little bit smaller than the one I grabbed from Harbor Freight, so I switched them out. The bigger one works better here in the garage, and the smaller one fits in this box better. Stinger came from Harbor Freight. Again, I cut cut all the ends off the, the alligator clamps off the jumper cables. I got these off of Amazon for a few dollars. You know, you can pick them up anywhere. And then this is your your jumper piece. It goes from one battery to the other. So when you're welding on the trail, you're going to need more than one battery. You're going to need at least 24 volts. Sometimes, sometimes three batteries works even better, but this one's only set up for two. So you'll hook this one from a negative post on one battery to a positive post on the other battery. And then you hook this to the empty positive post and then this to the empty negative post on the opposite battery that runs the batteries in series and it gets you 24 volts and that's what is going to allow you to actually get some penetration while welding so um, maybe not as nice as some of the fancy kits that you can buy for a few hundred dollars but I think I have less than 80 bucks into this whole box and it fits in a case you can throw it behind the seat um, as long as you got a second battery on your rig or a buddy with you, you can weld on the trail.